Wow, thank you. Wish I could have Snapchatted that. <laughs> I'm so happy to introduce our next speaker. She is the UK Daily Point of Light number 442 and is here to share with us her very personal story of service. Please welcome Lorraine Jones. Wow. Hi, Detroit. Can you say hi, Lorraine? Thank you, that's awesome, that's awesome. So yeah, I'm Minister Lorraine Jones from London, UK. So I've come a long way and I just wanna feel your energy. I'm a mother of seven children, I'm 43, and a, a grandmother of three. And I'm going to speak to you about my, one of my children, Dwayne, Dwayne Simpson, who was just 20, 20 years old. Now, the environment that, that we, we live in, in London, is a place called Brixton, if you, if you ever know that place. And in Brixton, there are a number of estates. These estates were well built. We had a number of community centers. It was absolutely awesome place for young people and uh, young businesses. Unfortunately, under a, over a period of time, there, there, there was a great decline. And these estates became run down. The community centers began to close because of um, lack of finances, which needed to be channeled into other directions, by, as, as the government said. And my son, Dwayne Simpson, who was a young community leader, a very passionate young boy, always had the, 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 the concerns of young people at heart. He, he used to come to me often and say, Mum, there's nothing for the young people to do. We're vulnerable. There's no community centers. We're out on the streets, sitting on the walls, and we're just vulnerable. That's the problem why there's so many gangs. There's no place for them to go to be able to converse and uh, their ideas and build what they want to build. So I said, son, well, what, what do you want to do about it? He said, mom, I'm gonna set up a project. I'm gonna set up a boxing and fitness project and I'm gonna train these youth. I said, okay, well, make sure you do a, do a business plan course. He said, okay, mum, I'll do that. Now, Dwayne, he was successful. He done his business course and he was successful in setting up a boxing and fitness project in Angeltown Estate and he was training up to 30 young people daily. He was in just a year of that project. It was thriving, he just got some funding from the government and it wasn't just young boys and, and girls, it was families coming out in the park and doing this training. Now, oh, one day he was um, out with my, my younger brother and he was in his car and he saw one of the younger boys being chased by an older boy who was in a gang with a knife. So my son, he's his brother's keeper, jumped out of the car and went to help. He was successful in saving this young boy's life. Can we just get a round of applause there? He was successful in saving this young boy's life, but unfortunately my son Dwayne was stabbed in the heart. He had one stab wound that went right through his heart. He was on a life support machine for two days and then he died. Now, as a, you can see I was consumed by shock, trauma and grief. When he died, we had over 600 people come into our community. We had the police, we had the, the MPs, we had councillors because they, were, they knew of the work that he was doing and the work which I, which I do for many years. And these young individuals came to my home three times and said, Mom, because they all call me Mom, what are we going to do now that Duane's gone? We need this service. What are we going to do? I sent them away three times, to be honest. But then when they came back, I said, OK, I'm going to go for it and set this up. So now I've established Duane Simpson Foundations, and that project is called Duane Namics. Through Duane Namics, we are... <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Through Dynamics, we're training, we've got over 300 members, we're training up young boys, young girls, we're training up mothers, we're training up fathers, we've got a mother 
only class which is just, it's just blown out of control. We have a father and son class. We have the police that come in and they train with the young people. We've managed to build a strong link with our community police, police where that was broken. We've managed to now establish a disability class. How did that come? One of the mothers that started training with us, her daughter had cerebral palsy and said, mom, I want to train. She's only got one hand which is functioning. This young young girl was only 12 years old, she started the course, she passed, she was in the paper, she got a brilliant write-up, now we're going to be facilitating a sports day for over 60 disabled kids. Can I get a round of applause? So what am I saying? One of the things that Dwayne always said, he said, Mum, we're going to turn pain into power. What does he mean? Whatever painful situation that we face, and we will face that, we can turn that into positive power. And that's what volunteering is about. The community is the majority. And if we can come together with our ideas, link with our governments, link with the police and all these services, we can facilitate what we need. So as you can imagine, that's why I got a Point of Light award. And I'll be honest with you, David Cameron, I love him to bits. Can you just help me to clap for him, please? I love him to bits. He gave me a Point of Light award. And through that award, so many young people want to get into politics. They want to be in a position where they can make change. Now, before I come off this stage, I'm going to ask you to please, please, please help me. If you can shout out to the top of your voice, after three, pain into power, we're going to infuse this atmosphere with power. So one, two, three, pain into power. Again, pain into power. One more time, pain into power.